Hello and welcome to the Node War Handbook. I am Blue Squadron and I will be teaching you everything you need to know in order to get started in Black Desert's large scale content in chapter one of this series. While many people consider Node Wars exclusively PvP content, there are many diverse roles during a Node War that even PvE or life skilling players can contribute to in meaningful ways. Most people don't know where to begin and become overwhelmed, but don't worry about that. I got you covered. First, you need to know which type of node war you'll want to start on. If you're unsure, click on the link on the screen where you can learn more about the different types of node war tiers available to players. After you know which type of node war you want to join, you'll need to get your character prepared. Black Desert has so many options to temporarily strengthen your character. These temporary buffs are important because they allow you to optimize your stats for the duration of the war. First. Make sure you are on the correct server because you'll need to make sure you yes up for node war in the guild menu. Just communicate with your guild ahead of time in order to know which server you need to be on. To open the guild menu, hit G and then navigate to the guild roster tab. Find your name and change the no to a yes. You have to yes up early to secure a spot since all node wars have a cap on how many people are allowed to attend. Now you'll want to make sure you have all the necessary buffs and materials to help your guild succeed. Here are the buffs that a Node War players typically use. Food, Consumables, Villa, Church, House, Crit Buff, and Alchemy Stones. Let's start with food. When it comes to food, players normally use the exquisite Kron meal for their food buffs. You can get it from the marketplace or you can make it yourself. Next, let's look at consumables. Make sure you purchase enough HP and MP potions from the general goods vendor in town. Pro tip. Keep some potions stored in your central market or your warehouse so you can easily restock them during the course of the node war. In addition to potions, more advanced players buy premium consumables such as elixirs, giant strouts, and whale tendon potions to actively use during the war as well. You will need a body enhancement buff which can be acquired from your tent after purchasing any villa invitation or using a secret book of old moon. If you don't have a tent, you can acquire the buff from Lohan's villa giving it the name the villa buff. When at the villa, talk to the villa keeper or purchase the correlating villa invitation and then enter the villa to purchase the body enhancement buff from the villa butler. Node wars can last up to two hours, so try and make sure you have enough buffs to last the full duration. Be aware that node war servers disable tents 10 minutes before war begins, so be sure to get your villa buff before then if you're using a tent. Next is church buffs. Church buffs can be acquired in every major city. You will want both Elianism's blessing of attack and of protection. Many players buy furniture from the central market, which gives them a temporary buff when they interact with it. Different furniture gives different buffs, so make sure you investigate and find the one that works best for you. Also keep in mind, you'll want to pick a town to place all of this furniture so that you can interact with it in your residence. Most players choose a residence in Heidel because the final buff you want to pick up is only available from an NPC named Caroline in Heidel. As we just mentioned, Caroline is an NPC just inside and up the stairs from the skill instructor in Heidel. If you have over 50 Amity with Carolyn, you can consume 25 energy to receive Caroline's Kindness, which gives you 10% critical hit damage buff, giving it the name, the crit buff. You always wanna take Carolyn's buff last as it only lasts 30 minutes. As far as alchemy stones go, most new players are going to use the Destruction Spirit Stone, which can be purchased from the Central Market for very cheap, while veteran players will use more advanced alchemy stones. Don't forget to tick the box to make sure it's active, though. You want to be an active participant in the node war, more than just killing enemies anyway. To do that, you'll need to bring a combat Trina Axe. Many guilds have an enhancement requirement for the Trina Axe, so make sure you have the right level. You can make a base combat Trina Axe by manufacturing 10 Blackstone Powder, 5 Steel, one cedar timber, and one pure iron crystal together. Don't forget to buy traps and annex assembly kits from the military supply manager too. If you don't have enough guild allowance, simply ask the guild advisor or guild master to modify your allowance. And lastly, you'll want some polished stone or even better, impeccably polished stone to help repair the fort if there is ever a need for it. You can get these off the marketplace or you can gather the stones and make it yourself. The best part is, the higher your life skilling ranks are, the shorter your repair and upgrade timers are during node war. It's time for final checks. Always make sure your gear is repaired, that your alchemy has enough durability to last the duration of the node war, that your potions are on your character with your fairy all set up, your correct gear is on, and that you're on your horse when the node war starts. Now let the node war begin. Click the flashing rook icon in the top right of your screen to teleport you directly to your guild's base and fight. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you want to hear more of my content via live streams and YouTube videos, please visit Blue Squadron on Twitch or YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and come back later for chapter two of the Node War Handbook. Thank you so much.